welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Sam. I am a library assistant with LA County Library. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Storytime. I have a wonderful book about raindrops. I also have a fun puzzle that we are going to try to solve today. That's going to all, that's also going to be solved by seven blind mice. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So let's hop right into story time. Let's start off with our hi hello song. Are you ready, friends? Okay. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Okay, friends, now before we jump into our book, I do want to get some of my wiggles out. So I want to do a rhyme called Slowly, Slowly. Slowly, Slowly, we're going to pretend we are a garden snail and we are very, very, very slowly going up the garden rail. And we're going to do that with both sides. And then we're going to move our arm from our fingers very quickly to, so it can be our little mouse going up that same garden rail. Okay, friends, let's go on and do this. Ready? Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden rail. Let's get our mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs. It runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly into his little house. Wow, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? Let's go on and jump right into our book. But before I read this book, I do want to give a big thank you to Simon and Schuster for giving us permission for reading this book today. This book is titled Rain Drops Roll and is written by April Sayer. Rain is coming. Can you feel it? You can feel it in the air. The sky darkens with storm. Insects take cover. A firefly below a leaf. A fly inside a pot. Rain plops. It drops. It patters. It spatters. Rain waters and washes and weighs down. It thuds, makes mud. It feels, it spills. Rain stops. Yet raindrops remain. They gather, they glob together. Raindrops, bangles, marks, angles. They cling to curves and cover cocoons. Raindrops settle, they slip, they dot, they trip. They magnify and mingle and moisten. Raindrops reflect. They reveal Raindrops highlight what is real. They linger in lines and when the sun shines, raindrops slowly dry. The end. Oh, wasn't that a lovely bug right there? Okay, friends, so before we go into our mysterious puzzle with the seven blind mice, we're going to get some of our wiggles out and we're going to do the wheels on the bus. So if you've never done this rhyme before, or this movement, I'm sorry, it's okay. We're going to do it all together. We're going to move our arms like this for the wheels on the bus. The driver honks his horn. He goes beep, beep, beep. The people on the bus, they go up and down and up and down. And the baby on the bus, he cries. He goes, wah, wah, wah. And the mother on the bus tells the baby, shh, shh, shh. Very good, all right? Let's go on and do this, ready? 
The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The driver on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The driver on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The baby on the bus goes wah, 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 wah. The baby on the bus goes wah, wah, wah. All through the town, the mama on the bus goes The mama on the bus goes All through the town. Very good. Okay, now we have to solve a mystery, friends. <clears throat> we are going to help our friends, the seven blind mice, tried to figure out what is this great big something they found in their pond. Okay, so one day, our seven blind mice, they went out on a little walk, but then they were surprised. They had, they felt something, something big in their pond, and they got so afraid, they just went back home and decided they would investigate on another day. On Monday, Red Mouse was the first mouse to go and see what is this great big something that was in the pond. And he went and he touched something. And then he ran back and he told his friends, I touched a pillar. That's the great big something in the pond, a pillar. On Tuesday, it was the green mouse's turn. He was the second mouse to go. So he went and he touched a part of this great big something and then he ran back. And do you know what he told the other mice? It's a snake. Oh my goodness, the great big something is a snake. On Wednesday, Wednesday, it was the yellow mouse's turn. He was the third mouse. He went to the great big something and he touched a part and he ran back to tell the other mice. He said, I know what it is. It is a sharp spear. That's exactly what it is. Hmm. On Thursday, it was the purple mouse's turn. The purple mouse went all the way to the top of the great big something and walked across and got so nervous, he ran back down. Do you know what the purple mouse said? I know what it is, friends. It's a great big cliff. That's what's in, that's what's in the pond. It's a cliff. Now, on Friday, it was the orange mouse's turn. He was the fifth mouse to go and investigate. So he touched a part of this great big something and he ran back. And do you know what he told his friends? It's a fan. That I touched a great big something that was wiggly and thin like a fan. That is sure what it is. <clears throat> On Saturday, it was the blue mouse's turn. He was the sixth mouse to go and investigate. So he went and he tugged at something at the end and then he ran back. He told his friends, I know what it is. It is a rope. It is a long, stringy rope. Well, well, all of these all of these different ideas of what this great big something could be, all the mice began to argue. They said, you're wrong. It's not a rope. 
It's a bed. No, it's not. It's a snake. No, it's a pillar. It's a spear. It's a cliff. So on Sunday, it was the white mouse's turn. So he was the seventh mouse. Now he went all the way on top. He went across and he went back and he went all the way down. And he searched around the entire big something. And he realized what it was. He went to the other mice and he told them, now, now I see what, what, great, what that great big something is. He is as sturdy as a pillar, as supple as a snake, as sharp as a spear, as breezy as a fan, as stringy as a rope and as wide as a cliff. Friends, do you guys know what the great big something is that's in the pond? Okay. Let's lift some of my pieces. Ooh. I think we got it. was an elephant. That was, that's what the great big something was. All together, the white mouse told him it is an elephant. All the mice couldn't believe it. They were all, they were all right in a way. When they put it, put it together, they had something extraordinary. Now the moral is that knowing in part might make a fine tale but wisdom comes from seeing the whole, the end. Oh, that was a nice, delightful mystery story right there, wasn't it, friends? Let me get back in the picture. <laughs> okay, friends, so I thought we can do some deep breathing. So everybody, if you can, breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Now we're going to do a rhyme called Five Little Peas and Pea Pot Press. Okay, ready? Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they never stopped. They grew and they grew till the pea pot popped. Do it again. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they never stopped. They grew and they grew till the pea pod popped. Oh, those must have been some fast growing peas, huh? Okay, friends, so we're gonna end our story time with our last song, which is Story Time is Over, Clap Your Hands. Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is done, I hope you had some fun. Story time is over, clap your hands. Thank you so very much for joining me for story time today. And guess what, friends? I have some wonderful news. Right now, we are having our spring and summer discovery program. I'm inviting you, your friends, and your family to join us in our celebration of books. All you have to do is read a book and log it in and complete some activities every month until August the 8th. Now, when you complete your activities and log your books, you will go online to lacountylibrary.org forward slash spring dash summer dash discovery. And there, that's when you will be able to co complete the activities and hopefully win a prize. Now, if you do not want to log in or do the activities online, that's okay. Just go to your nearby library that is offering the, um, the sidewalk service and they will happily bring to you one of the paper forms okay friends have a wonderful day bye, bye.